model minia 2023 it is made by solidworks so let's practice this simple model so here you will see there are many views you will see at center this is top view and uh, first we will create from here so you will see the top view you will see this gap 15 outer dimension 30 then the corner radius r20 okay then these radius outer radius r55 and there is one angle 30 degree and how long we need to extrude this you will see in this model 50 diameter see a uh, 50 length you will see the outer to outer distance 50 millimeter and at top view you will see the length of model 85 so keep remember this and we will do this then okay let's do this first uh, from unit you can change it from right bottom millimeter now first we have to choose any one plane so front plane is a uh, top plane is the most suitable things for us right now so click sketch now see sketch tools are activated now first uh, let me add center line activate center line draw one center line exit now activate line now I am going to start something from uh, here then if you go back to the line C and again move and see the line converted into arc again move something here again I, I want here again arc so again I am going to move back to the point and move cursor and see this is converted into now okay exit now here I, I, I also want to arc so again I am going to choose line click then go back to the point and see the line converted into arc I am going to fix here right click press escape key or right click select out of the sketch now let's make few important relation first hold shift key select this one and this point and create relation here make cocentric this is important for this select this curve and hold shift key this point origin point make relation cocentric okay now one more important relation select this point hold shift key these three points and make horizontal okay this is important relation now I want to mirror this all so there is one option called mirror entity I am going to simply select all and click mirror entities now see this is mirror you don't need to select one by one activate the smart dimension now it's time to define the dimensions the first center one 15 now the outer one 30 okay now these corner radius 20 okay now here also the angle degree 30 degree okay what balance the last one this radius shows uh, okay diameter shows 55 here this is going to be radius so 55 divided by 2 okay and that's it and the one last thing balance hold shift key select this this line and move cursor over end and you will see click leave, leave shift key and move your uh, dimension and place somewhere top and see we will get the dimension outer 85 say ok now look our drawing fully defined now exit and activate extruded boss base feature see by default it is selected now start condition we will keep as it is because we already in a plane and condition we will change mid plane because we want to move in both side equally so here let's say dimension 50 millimeter this is what our jump outer dimension okay now look now here the next thing you will see at center there is one cutout corner radius you will see here r3 four numbers means there is a these two outer side this inside radius you are going to get r3 and there is a cutout you will see this thickness 5 millimeter 5 millimeter so we have to keep this one and this is circular keep remember the upper one is straight but the this one is circular not straight like this 
then at the end uh, we have to add uh, fillet inside fillet inside fillet also here see r2 all red fillet all fillets are 3 mm or uh, 2 mm so what i am going to choose i am going to select the front top plane okay this is the center plane a sketch now select this face offset 5 mm select inside reverse direction and see we will get this option say okay now but here this is straight we want circular so there is one option go to activate trim entities select power trim and uh, hold shift key select this move cursor and leave again hold shift key select this arc move cursor and leave that's it now again we have to trim so just don't select shift simply hold power trim hold left mouse and drag press and drag look and this is going to trim and this is see we will get this circular edge and this is straight okay activate extruded cut feature and here plane we will keep start we will keep same start condition end condition we will say directly say select through all both we want to cut both side say yes look here activate fillet command from here now first fillet type the first one is constant symmetric fillet parameter and radius 3 mm and i am going to select these two radius say okay look this is what we want at center you will see there is 5 mm thickness 5 mm thick plate we have to add it then inside radius 2 mm so again we will use the same sketch or uh, let's do one thing uh select top plane sketch now this time i am going to what we do we will simply choose or simply select the previous sketch convert entity see this is what we like to keep extrude now this time we want 5 mm thickness end condition we will keep mid plane 5 mm c you will see the preview say okay now look the thickness going to add here fillet and constant size fillet and fillet 2 mm symmetric i am going to choose this face and move from back side select back face okay you will see in this preview say okay so fillet added here now let's make this shape see here this shape from its bottom is straight if you see from front view it's straight here see then the radius r15 then here one more radius 265 radius and then let's so in this case what we will choose we will choose front plane sketch now activate line tool and i'm going to start from this end to this end press something here and go back to the point and make it curve okay then again go back to the point now this is reverse direction cancel it simply choose from here three point arc select these two points take it down now first select this point tangent select this point uh, this arc and this outer edge make relation tangent see and one more relation hold shift key select these two points origin and center of this arc horizontal smart dimension this radius 15 and if you seek choose this one 265 look our drawing fully defined 
सो सिंपली एक्टिवेट एक्सूडेड कट फीचर कीप हियर थ्रू ऑल बोथ बट देर इज अ कैच वी डोंट वॉन्ट दिस इन साइड टू कट देर इज वन ऑप्शन कॉल्ड फ्लिप साइड टू कट जस्ट क्लिक एंड एक्टिवेट एंड यू विल सी इन प्रिव्यू द आउटर थिंग्स गोइंग टू कट सिंपली से यस लुक द आउटर शेप कट द बैलेंस थिंग इज रेडियस ऑल रेडियस द आउटर रेडियस टू मिलीमीटर दिस एंड द एट सेंटर यू विल सी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स डाय थ्रू ऑल होल काउंटर बोर डायमीटर इलेवन डेप्थ फोर पॉइंट सिक्स काउंटर बोर फोर एम सिक्स सॉकेट हेड कैप स्क्रू देन एट द अनदर एंड यू विल सी दिस इज नेक्स्ट एंड सेक्शन बी इफ यू सी सेक्शन बी फ्रॉम हियर दिस इज सेक्शन बी सो लेट्स डू दिस ऑल्सो सेक्शन बी इज इलेवन एंड हेक्सागॉन डायमीटर इलेवन डेप्थ फोर पॉइंट सिक्स नाउ फिलेट टू मिलीमीटर दिस वन एंड सेलेक्ट द इन साइड वन से ओके काउंटर बोर होल विजार्ड नाउ हियर चूज होल टाइप स्टैंडर्ड मेट्रिक हियर सेलेक्टेड काउंटर सॉकेट हेड कैप स्क्रू ओके कम डाउन एम सिक्स कीप कंडीशन फिट नॉर्मल एंड इफ यू एक्टिवेट दिस यू विल सी दिस ऑप्शन नाउ हियर पुट सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स इलेवन डेप्थ फोर पॉइंट सिक्स एंड एंड कंडीशन थ्रू ऑल पोजिशन एंड सेलेक्ट यू हैव टू चूज एनी वन प्लेन सो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक हियर सो आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दिस वन एंड मूव कर सर एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट दिस सेंटर पॉइंट सो जस्ट कीप कर सर ऑन एज एंड यू विल सी प्लेस विथ लेफ्ट माउस एंड प्रेस स्केप की टू आउट लुक सी कम टू नेक्स्ट एंड स्केच एक्टिवेट हियर है पॉलीगॉन टूल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सेंटर स्केप की टू आउट ना अपर वन कीप हॉरिजोंटल नाउ लेट्स डिफाइन दिस टू डायमेंशन इलेवन नाउ दिस इज फुल्ली डिफाइंड स्केच एक्टिवेट एक्सक्लूडेड बॉस बेस फीचर and the depth here 4.6 keep everything end start condition same end condition blind look at this circular edge there is a four number of holes you will see here the distance 22 outer to outer 30 even though you will see the dimension here the center gap 4 mm c and distance from outer circular center point to center 15 both side look at here 2.5 is this distance from here so the catch here you have to create this 35 degree away from center line see the diameter also here shows 40 mm and 15 mm is the distance so let's first we have to create a plane activate plane now first reference i am going to choose front plane now the second reference plane we have to make on this so i am going to select this one but right now plane is perpendicular to this 90 degree so we have to add click and activate plane now here you have to add 90 plus 35 degree look 125 degree this is what we like to keep okay now select the plane sketch now here let's create our oblong a straight slot dimension now center 40 4 mm sorry radius 2 mm and the distance from outer edge to origin point is 15 is still drawing not defined it means hold shift key select the center point and this origin point horizontal now again this is fully defined 
now what we have to do extruded cut look and here end condition i'll keep up to next because we want to cut only this thick uh, this thickness of this wall say okay and look mirror let's say front plane and see the feature already selected in this say okay and look now this time i am going to choose top plane mirror and feature i am going to select the mirror feature to mirror say okay and here this is what we like to keep click on plane hide look now material is plain carbon steel so right click plain carbon steel okay let me activate real view see if you like to add uh, right click on part click here part and add color let's say yellow okay now similarly the fillet hold shift key a uh, control key and select the fillet these two fillet is going to highlight so here choose fillet if you drop down this red color simply say yes and our model created see how we created our model if you go to evaluate mass property and here you will see the mass of this 476.99 gram and this is the volume so this is how you can check the properties of part or model if you want to print you can even print this okay i hope you like it don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching